Hi everyone, Stephen here again, building an application with the no-code tool bubble.io. For this one, we'll have the sign-in feature being powered by LinkedIn, uh, enabling LinkedIn users to sign into the application with their LinkedIn profiles. So to do that, we will have to create an app with LinkedIn. So we are here at linkedin.com forward slash developers, and we hit create app on the landing page. So we see a form here to create the app. The app name, we'll fill out this field, fake commuting. You'll see the significance of this name once we get into building the application. The LinkedIn page, it says this action can't be undone once the app is saved. So select the right business page that you want to use for creating the app. I have my business page here, Campbell's Investment LLC. If you don't have a business page, then you can go ahead and create one with this link. So the privacy policy we leave for now, since it's not absolutely required to have the app created, and we'll upload the app logo. The app logo is required 100 pixels. It should be a square photo. So we go ahead and read the legal agreement <laughs> and select that we have read it and we go ahead and create the app. So I have already created an app. Here it is, fake commuting. And there's my client ID and the date when it was created. So there's the information. I have my privacy policy there and the domain name for my application. So one of the most important sections is the authentication section where they provide the auth, auth keys for the application, which we'll use for the API calls in Bubbles, um, you know, billing environment. So we have the client ID and the client secret. I'll get into the OAuth setup where we'll need to provide the authorized redirect URL. I'll get into that section when we start building the app. So in the product section, so once, once you create the app, you'll be required to select the products that you want to use in the app. So the share on LinkedIn product is one I selected as well as signing with LinkedIn. I left this one for now, right? So we have the auths, auth section showing us that the scopes for the OAuth setup that we're gonna use is light profile and member social. So light profile enables the application to use the LinkedIn person's first name, last name, and profile pic. So that once the person signs into the application, the, the application will be able to call their, you know, login information like first name, last name. Uh, the light profile doesn't use email addresses. And for my purposes, I don't need the email address for the app I'm building, but I'll, I'll touch on getting the email address as well. Member social enables the app to create, modify, and delete posts and comments on behalf of the user using the application. So that's basically the, the layout. The most important thing is getting the client ID and client secret from the application. All right, so we are continuing. We are in Bubbles building environment and we are in the plugin section. So we would add plugin, install the Bubble API connector. And once that is installed, we would add another API. So that API has been added. We can name the API LinkedIn, whatever that is. And for the authentication, we'll use OAuth2 user agent flow. Okay, so it has expanded and there's a form that we need to fill out. 
for the app ID, you would place the client ID information. And for the app secret, we'll place the client secret information from our LinkedIn app. So there it is, the app ID and app secret corresponds to the client ID and client secret respectively. For the scope, as we mentioned before, our light profile, I did mention about adding um, scope for email addresses and I would put a link in the description below for instructions to add email addresses for but for my purpose i'll not be adding an email address scope so from there authentication goes in the header and i use the generic redirect url so this generic redirect url that bubble generates based on the domain name i'm using is to go into the oauth2 section of the linkedin application on the authorized redirect URLs for your app. So we'll edit and place the redirect URL there. And that's it. So we need to call um, on LinkedIn's API over the internet, over HTTP. So we have a couple of URLs that we need to input. The login dialog redirect, I have made a note of them here. And I'll place them in the video description below so that you have access to them. What it basically does is when you hit sign in with LinkedIn, whatever button you create on your application, sign in with LinkedIn. It redirects the user to LinkedIn's login page. And once the user logs in, the data would be called over the internet and will be stored in your application. So we, are, we, we would need an, an access token. This is the URL for that access token. And we need a user profile endpoint. And this is the URL for that. As I mentioned, it will be in the description below. E, um, the, the user ID key path can remain ID email. That can remain. And we would actually make the API call. So the API call would use as action. Since we're going to create a workflow calling the API for signing, we create it as an action. And we'll use a get and we have the URL here. Also, we'll be provided in the description below. The key is projection and the value there. And that's basically it. From there, once we have all the information inputted, including the client ID and client secret, you would initialize the call. So continuing uh, the setup for the workflow, the sign in with LinkedIn workflow. So this is the header bubble generates for every app, the, gener the generic header. And um, just customize to say sign in with LinkedIn and add an icon beside it. So we start a workflow. And when button sign in with LinkedIn is clicked and the current user isn't logged in, what should happen? We go to account, sign, sign the user in with a social network. What's the OAuth provider? And we select the API that we just set up. From there, it's done. So once the button is clicked, <clears throat> once the button is clicked, the user will be redirected to LinkedIn's login page. And once the user logs in, 
the information will be called into the application so let's 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 test it out so let me log out here So let's test it out. Uh, sign in with LinkedIn. I am automatically signed in because I have signed in before. But what would happen is that you'll be redirected to LinkedIn's login page, the user would sign in, and then they'll be redirected again to the home page of the application via the authorized redirect URL that we inputted into the LinkedIn application. So here I have my profile picture, my first name, my last name um, in my application there. And that's basically it. Uh, if there are any questions, please feel free to ask questions in the comment section below. And I'd be happy to reach out and help with anything that is not clear in this video. Thanks for watching again. Have a good one, everybody.